Now I have to I have to be honest that um, I am still recovering from this experience. It's difficult to go um, <clears throat> back to the Western context uh, here in Canada and to the context of the continuing colonization of Indigenous America. But what I've come to realize in the six months of reflection, and of course, with uh, thinking about the Palestinian reality of the already annexed territories um, there in, in, in Palestine is that their participation um, in liberal democ democracy requires an understanding of systems and structures of privilege and the dignity of personhood. Uh, from my own experience here in Canada, I know that to participate, which is a basic right by the way, is to understand uh, that personhood must be recognized. This is not a political question, at least not a political question when speaking from a liberal demo democratic reality in which we sit in now. It's about humanity, it's about rights, and it's about dignities. The Palestinian people, as we travel through the rolling hills of that beautiful and ancient country, what we found though is infrastructural weaknesses, water, sanitation, healthcare. The Palestinian people struggle against normalizing these weaknesses. They have bodily control daily of where they go and where they don't go, who can come with them to medical appointments. This is systematic and administrative occupation. These walls, checkpoints, food insecurity, being kept from digging wells, farming and grazing to a replacement of incarceration and terror. Personhood, peace and security is difficult under these conditions without the organizational capacities of WIAM, without their partners. These organizations come together to teach, to educate, to create spaces in which Palestinian communities, Palestinian communities of, that are marginalized, women, children, but also communities that work with Palestinian communities, Israeli communities, coming together to create this space of peace and justice. Women, youth, and men come together to assert their right of personhood. It's not even about participating in the political structure of the Israeli state, but to just to demonstrate their own dignity, their own right to speak, their own right to, to farm, their right to create economies, their right to live. And they do this under this auspice of occupation. Occupation that threatens their humanity. Palestinians, Israelis deserve the opportunity to live together. And this is what these organizations, these partnerships create, those opportunities. This is the great hope. This is the great hope that is being demonstrated for the world. So I encourage you to advocate with a good mind, peace and justice, justice to the personhood of the people of Palestine. Thank you.